uh, even today the power of the Torah to unify uh, its uh, worldwide community of students uh, visible to all. So what, what unites uh, Jews, not, uh, not the, 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 the type of the food that they eat, but actually the Torah, that's, uh, that's uh, our common, uh, um, uh, common goal and common, common thing that, that, that uh, unites us. As mentioned, uh, as mentioned, we live as um, minorities scattered uh, he, uh, here, he, uh, hither and uh, thither uh, over the face of the earth, subject to all uh, assimilatory forces which tears us apart, as which unfortunately have taken a toll, and yet to take but one example of, of many. One of the first night of Pesach, every knowledgeable Jew can uh, be found seated and learning uh, in a leaning position at the meal. Everyone calls uh, calls the seder, discussing the same exodus, eating the same unsalted matzah. I don't know why I say unsalted. Okay, I mean uh, why he said unsalted. Okay, the same bitter herbs, uh, the same festive meals, and the fowl uh, with one of uh, of its roasted. With none of its roasted, we're going to explain. Drinking a minimum of four cups of wine, each one at designated intervals, in addition to full, uh, to fulfilling the uh, fulfilling a host of other a host of other obligation, which are unique to this night alone. So it's uh, a lot of material here. So let's do it again. We're going to explain. So. So the topic again that how Torah unites all of the Jews, and even today, power of the Torah to unite uh, or to, to unify the worldwide community of the students is visible to all. So students, it's not like students literally, but uh, we're all students, right? Uh, visible to all. As mentioned, uh, we live in a, um, as minorities scattered here and there over the face of the earth right so like uh, there are pockets here the bigger pockets smaller pockets of the community but uh, <clears throat> it's uh, people Jews always move always always on the move some some neighborhood became uh, very popular in a place uh, where I live but not not too far let's say not not too far so Jews decided to move there and uh, the place was like quiet quiet like suburbs and suddenly the Jews would come and start knocking at the people's door and say, I want to buy your house, cash. Can you move out tomorrow? So, and uh, some people were, 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 were getting like 20% more money that they would get from, uh, from other people. And some people start selling and uh, these other people, uh, other Jews become very aggressive <laughs> because they, they, they want to move in. And uh, some non-Jews, they were very upset and they actually made the law so they, you're not allowed to... Uh, to, to, to knock at the door and ask uh, you, you want to sell. So I, it, it's, it's, a, it's a law in, that, in a few towns, right? So if you do that, you're going to arrest you. It's a, I think it's a even prison time if somebody do that. That's uh, anti-Semite. They, they don't want to sell, right? It's very interesting. Right, so people, Jews are on, all, always on the move, right? So, but, but the pockets, the bigger pockets, smaller pockets, um, but unfortunately, as he said, the subject to all assimilatory forces, right, uh, which tears us apart, right? So you're a small pocket uh, among the non-Jews, of course, as we said many times yesterday, yesterday, right? We discussed it. They're going to affect whether you want it or not. You know, and you're going then, unfortunately, somebody, I don't want to say you, that was not me, but people become uh, like, uh, like neighbors, unfortunately. And which unfortunately takes taken uh, unfortunately have taken toll as we know people assimilate and they quit their, or never even start and yet to take but one example uh, of many right so okay so now what unites us the first night of pesach every knowledgeable jew can be found sitting in a learning position at the meal a leaning position so every every jew like uh, they say knowledgeable jew sitting in a leaning position so we lean on the left so everybody knows that we lean, uh, lean on the left, and uh, <clears throat> if you drink uh, wine with uh, four obligatory cups without leaning, you have to drink again. If you eat matzah without leaning, you have to uh, uh, eat again. So that's uh, in my house when, when I do the set, I make sure I make sure that uh, that uh, b before we start, I tell everybody must lean, must, 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 right? 
Okay. So that's what unites us. The first night of Pesach, every knowledgeable Jew can be found seated in leaning position at the meal. Everyone calls the Seder. So everybody knows that uh, this night, the, this procedure is called the Seder, discussing the same Exodus. Everybody have exactly the same text, whether you read Hebrew in uh, the different language, that does not matter, but the story is exactly the same. Eating the same unsalted matzah. So uh, there is machine matzah, there is handmade matzah, but uh, bottom line, uh, that's uh, the main food. The same bitter herbs. Okay, it's, it's not the same, like a little different, uh, few of your opinions what you can use but uh, the bottom line is the same right uh, you eat bitter herbs the same festive meals and fowl so and uh, um, they say uh, he, he sell the fowl meaning uh, uh, we don't eat roasted food uh, roasted meat why why we don't eat roasted meat and even chicken because why because uh, that was a uh, uh, food of Pesach right the Pesach sacrifice so not not to not to imply that maybe we we be eaten from the Pesach sacrifice. So on Pesach we don't eat uh, uh, roasted meat, right? So only cooked. Okay, continue drinking minimal of four cups of wine, right? So that that's what unites. So everybody do exactly the same. Each one at designated intervals, right? So like uh, when it says in Gada, do that. So uh, like some some people like for many years I was surprised uh, they they were doing uh, Pesach their own style they would uh, prepare some Dvar Torah and they would eat matzah and uh, drink four cups of wine whenever they want and uh, and and that's it and then uh, I don't know why in one class I just mentioned that uh, it's not a big deal to do like say that by by yourself you just buy yourself Haggadah with a commentary with explanation you you read before Pesach like few times prepare and you you, you can conduct uh, uh, s uh, like Seder in, in your house you don't, you don't have to be a big expert just uh, re read the book follow the instruction and and that's it so it's uh, for some people like uh, at least uh, two or three couples it was very big surprise that's uh, that we actually have a procedure it's not like uh, do whatever you want that's very interesting right in addition to fulfill the uh, uh, fulfilling the host of other obligations which is unique to this night alone right so we, we uh, um, pour the, the, uh, the four, uh, fifth cup for Eliyahu and Navi we open the door there is a special text we, we have the Afi command that we did and so all of these beautiful things but everybody do exactly the same and that night is uh, as the author say it's one of the things that unite us okay continue although the various community have different customs and different uh, in many um, secondary facets of the Torah, uh, Torah and life. All agree that the basic principle of the Torah, uh, as um, manifest in a worldwide um, conformity to the com uh, complex, uh, to the complex Seder procedure. Okay, there is no way to explain this other than the Torah, uh, the, than the Torah scholars in every country study the same Holy Torah. And the Torah by uh, nature unites. As Chazal say, Talmidei Chachamim increase shalom in the world. Because the entire Torah was given to make shalom in the world. In other, world, in other words, the entire Torah was, was given to make God visible uh, because, shalom in one's, uh, because shalom is one of Hashem's name. names. Okay, so let's uh, do this uh, one more time and we're going to explain. All the various communities we have different customs. So Sephardi communities, uh, Ashkenazi community, Litvish community, uh, Hasidish different Hasidish uh, like uh, have different customs. But it's only custom. It's like only like my some minor things. The the, the main thing is always the same. Always the same matzah, uh, up to eighteen minutes, and it's a shmura matzah, not shmura matzah. But uh, the main thing uh, absolutely the same, right? So one more time, all of the various communities have different customs, um, um, and differ in many secondary facets of the Torah life. Again, it's only secondary; it's nothing in the primary. Our primary is exactly the same. All agree on the basic principles of the Torah, right? As many said, the worldwide conformity is a complex uh, seder procedure. So, and how, how do we know? 
that everybody agree in uh, like on, uh, on the basic principle of the Torah. You see that the Seder exactly everybody start exactly at the same time. I mean, according to the location where they live, and according like uh, the procedure is exactly the same. I mean, um, some 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 people do like some symbolic acts, but otherwise it's uh, exactly the same. There is no way to explain this other than the Torah scholars in every country study the same holy Torah. So all of the Torah scholars. Uh, it doesn't matter where they are, they, they study the, exactly the same Torah and then uh, they can meet and, uh, and they discuss this Torah, right? And Torah unites, and the Torah by nature unites. And that's the beauty of, uh, uh, of the Dafayomi, right? When people uh, learn one uh, page of Talmud every, every day. I mean, if they actually learn, if they just... Uh, listen and, uh, and um, sleep and uh, like uh, or check their phone of course it's useless but uh, if they actually learn this page so they, they can meet somebody another Jew who learns exactly the same page and they uh, have common some common things uh, to talk to so if if we, uh, if I learn uh, this book and somebody learn uh, another book okay if we can ex exchange the ideas but it does not mean that he would know what I'm talking about because I just learned it and he uh, and I would not uh, understand exactly what he's. Uh, or I would not be very familiar with his topics if it's like deep inside. But when they do uh, the same page, everybody in the whole in the whole world. So that's actually one of the things uh, that uh, shows as uh, proof that Torah unites. As Chazal say, Talmidei Chachamim increase Shalom in the world. Right. So because uh, one of the names of uh, Hashem is Shalom, is a peace, and Talmidei Chachamim is the, their learning of Torah and they bring peace right and that's why in uh, in the uh, army of David Hamel they had half of the army fighting and half of the army studying Torah uh, um, just one second, one second, one second because the Torah gives uh, uh, because the Torah was given to make Shalom in the world so Torah was given to bring the peace in the world in other words, the entire Torah was given to make God visible because Shalom is Hashem's name. Okay, that's why uh, because of the, all of the wars, because of this animosity, so Hashem's name is not visible. And that's, uh, that's the only legitimate uh, reason to, to, to want Mashiach to come. To want Mashiach to come, so everybody would understand that Hashem is one and His name is one. Right? Uh, that's what we need to be zealous.